And welcome to another exciting episode of Kentucky Review. I'm Still Reserved, Special K. And I'm Radar. And tonight we have Elysian, Salt and Seed, a watermelon ghost. Uh, if you don't know what a ghost is, it's essentially a sour be- beer. This, yeah. one, this one has salt, uh, a natural watermelon, uh, bittered with whole ghoul. But does it have seeds in hops. it? 4% alcohol, a little low. Um, Ghosts are usually the salt is kosher, so it's important to know. There's no uh, uh, what is in the salt? Um, Iodine? Yeah, there's no iodine in the salt. I think that's the difference between kosher and regular salt. Don't quote me, I'm not Alton Brown. Ooh, that's that's a smell, boys. That smells. That's a smell. Not good. That's a uh, sort of an orange, a reddish orange color. Very um, kind of cloudy. I bet yeah. you if you poured it a little bit harder, it would it would produce a head. I poured his kind of hard, and it didn't do anything. Yeah, it didn't do jack. That's a smell. It's kind of very faint, but it's a little bit like butthole. <laughs> what? Well, gentlemen, shall I we? disagree with that intensely? Hold on. It's um, it's not good. You can smell the salt. That's a really strange thing to smell in a beer. I just feel do you like, get the salt as well? Is that just me? It might just be you. It could be just because you're salty all the time. All right, let's taste it. Might be. Could be. I mean, it's nice and sour. It it's is a little bit salty. Is anybody getting watermelon? Not watermelon really. is so light. I don't, I don't get any watermelon, to be fair. But watermelon is a very light flavor. It's a good ghost. Maybe like a little bit? If anybody's going to get it, it's going to be you. You at the bottom. It's juicy. Yeah, it's, um, it's a little bit juicy. Like a watermelon, yeah. I mean, it tastes Again, good. Again, slight, slight sweetness in the sour bit. But that's about it. And that's the only thing I could... Say would be the watermelon aspect of it. It does taste salty though. A little wheat forward, a little you malty. You get some salt out of that. A salt. I mean, it's a good ghost. I'm just not getting. I think it's a, a good counter. I think it's a good counter to like the the pucker sense you get from the uh, the souriness from the ghost. So my problem when they advertise beers like this, where they very clearly put uh, a big watermelon on the front and says salt and seed watermelon ghost, um, it should taste like a lot of watermelon. If it's if it's like this. Where it's barely there, non-existent, it should say a hint of watermelon. Like a hint. Or just salty ghosts. Yeah. Salted ghosts. Yeah. If it was um, salted ghosts, I mean, you know, that, then it'd be, yeah, that's what it is. That sounds pretty good to me, honestly. I mean, it's that not That sounds bad. like something I might go after. I think I'm getting a little bit of watermelon on the back, but barely. It's not bad. I mean, like I said, watermelon is kind of It's a, very faint. Mm-hmm. And it's in the bag. Y'all, have you guys ever had watermelon rind, like pickled watermelon rind? Yes, it's no. gross. Tastes like cucumbers. There's just a little bit. There's just a little bit of that on the back end. It's very reminiscent of cucumbers. And I hate cucumbers. That's why I hate honeydew. Mm. Not a big fan of honeydew. It's because it's a but, cucumber. But it's, it's got it's got, like it's got that, that it's got that like flat, dull, like bitterish note on the back end. All right, let's rate this bad boy. So, a little bit sour, a little bit malty. It's what you get in a ghost. Uh, very, very faint watermelon flavor, a little bit of salt, saltiness. Um, you know, it's like $9.99, $8.99, $9.99 for a six-pack. Um, for a ghost, it's good. But I'm knocking points off because it says watermelon. I'm not getting a lot of watermelon on there. Hard time with that, yeah. That being said, I still think it's a seven. I mean, I would drink it. It's so refreshing. It's good. Um, but if it had more of that watermelon flavor, it might get a higher score. <sighs> yeah, that's... It's refreshing, it's clean, it's crisp. It's got the good sour notes. It's got that bit of saltiness to it as well. And because I've got the bottom of the bottle. You know, I got everything that was left. Slight watermelon. Not enough to make me go, oh boy, oh boy. Maybe another one of those. And so I just, I, I just got to give it a six, honestly. It's fair. I think I'll give it a seven. I do like the salty and the the sweet and the sour that's going on, but the I sour, feel as though I've had better. Yeah, it there's better. Uh, Braxton Labs had a really good uh, uh, watermelon ghost. I'm pretty sure it was Braxton Labs where we had that. Yeah. Um, I was not there. I imagine, oh, that's right. I imagine the amount 
of watermelon they would have to put in this. To it would have it, to be. Uh, it would have to be like red. Yeah, it would be a copious amount of watermelon. Oh yeah, watermelons. Like I said, it's it's a, already ninety percent water anyway, so it's gonna be. It's a very mild flavor. You would have to put a lot in there. I get it. So. I do like the idea of a salted ghost, though. I wish people would run with that. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a good choice. I think Dogfish Head did one. A cucumber quench ale, I think. I think that was a uh, ghost, like a cucumber mm -hmm. salt ale or something. Eh, I mean, it's a good ghost. If you're looking for watermelon flavor, don't get it. Just get a different ghost. Right. I would definitely drink this again, though. I mean, yeah, if somebody gave it to me, it, I wouldn't sure. go out of my way to get it, though. Mm, no. Uh, it's like I said, there are hundreds of other ghosts out there no, that are better. No, I don't think I'd buy this. And it's getting to be ghost season again, so. It, it is. Ooh, it's about time. Ghost, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> we know we oh. like sours. Uh, I don't know why I didn't see you doing that before you did it. I'm really you disappointed in myself. Should've. I should have seen that coming. All right, well, that's our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. I'm Steel Reserve. And I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.